here with the head coach of the Miami hockey team, Chris Bergeron, after the Red Hawks opening win for the season, 7-4 to four at Ferris State. Coach, what were your thoughts on the game tonight? I really liked the second and third. <laughs> the first period, uh, not exactly the start we were looking for. Uh, overall, Tim, uh, it's, it's, I'm, I'm glad our, our boys were able to play somebody else. I knew that uh, we would get hit with some adversity. I, I, again, I, I wasn't expecting it to be that adversity. Uh, like the first period was, but I thought we responded great. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's all positive. It's all positive. And the result obviously helps, but um, I, I'm, I'm happy for our guys. They, uh, they enjoyed singing the fight song together after the win, and we'll always take that. What did you say to your team after the first period? I, I, I said this is the first time we faced adversity as the 21-22 group, and that's what I said. And, and then you rely on your older people um to react which is what i think they did it wasn't this wasn't uh you know a, 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 a magic uh um you know get your magic wand out and, and and change everything this was uh get to our game which we weren't uh, understand your opponent is 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 a hard working group that now has a bunch of confidence and we're going to have to deal with them um but, but this is us getting popped in the mouth, and now we have to respond and react. And I thought we did a nice job with that. But, but again, coaches do very little in those situations, Tim, other than remind and then rely on your older people to, uh, to make sure the group is right. And they were absolutely right that second period for sure. Second period, Red Hawks outscored the Bulldogs 4-0. to zero. What did you see specifically in that period that helped make a difference? I saw us take care of the puck, uh, primarily right around the offensive blue line. We just turned over way too many pucks in the first period, and they were a counter, uh, uh, you know, a, basically a counter react team against us. And they and they did a great job. The second period, we put pucks behind them. We got in on the forecheck, used some of our size, used some of our playmaking. Um, I I thought it was a, just a overall a great period for us, but it wasn't anything special. It was the game plan we had going into the game. We just weren't able to get to that game. Uh, just poor decisions, our opponent playing well, whatever, in the first period. But the second period, we got to what we wanted to get to. Uh, and hopefully tomorrow we can do it uh, off the start. It seemed like your group showed some resiliency after the first goal, the sh shorthanded goal coming right back with an answer. They got that big goal at the end of the first period. And just kind of every time that they tried to punch you in the mouth, coming back and being able to respond and not let the game get out of hand early. Yeah, we're going to want to be a resilient bunch. Um, uh, that's what we, we preach a lot. Um, we look at that first period and Tim, there was, it was a two, two game with four minutes to go after not playing great. And all of a sudden we make two mistakes and it's four to two. So we weren't going to overreact. We didn't want to underreact, but we, we didn't want to overreact either. Um, uh, and, and again, I, I thought our guys responded great. Um, four goals in the second period, um, uh, played the game the way we wanted to play it and got rewarded for it with, with, uh, with some plays around the other team's net. What did you think of the play of your goaltender? I thought the person made some big saves, especially in that second period. Uh, he, he, I thought he, I thought he settled in. The first period did not seem like him. Uh, you know, you don't see him get beat like that four different times, and we haven't given up four goals in one period very often. And and and, and he didn't look very good doing it. Uh, you know, and and then I thought the second and third he settled in, which is the goalie that we know him to be. We just kind of reminded him everything's good. He's fine just uh, close the door at this point and that he was able to do that, which I'm happy for him because that first period is not indicative to the goaltender that he is. And he responded uh, with two periods of the goaltender that he absolutely is. Ryan Savage with a couple of goals. What did you think about his play in the game? You know, I, I, I really like both the goals, Tim. I mean, he's a guy that we're looking for to make a step from a sophomore year to his junior year. I really liked his second goal. It was his feet moving. It was hard on the puck. It was shooting a puck on that. All the things we were asking him to do, we just want him to do it more often. Uh, and then the first goal was something we know he's capable of, which was the power play. That was a great pass by Joey Cassette. It was a, it was a great play overall uh, on our power play, but Ryan can finish. And we know he can finish. We just want him a little more involved in the five-on-five -five offense, just like that second goal was. What did you think of how your team closed out the game in the third period, especially really just kind of staying on that front foot and not giving Ferris any hope? Yeah, with, with the exception of a play here and there. I mean, less than a handful. I thought it was a pretty darn good period. I really do. Um, uh, I, I, that, that's what we're looking for. We're not going to go in a shell in a defensive mode. And we're going to keep playing, keep going north, keep finishing checks, keep battling. I thought our guys did that. I, I really 
I was happy with the third. Again, with the exception of, let's just say, less than a handful of plays, which we've got to do better managing the game, managing the score a little bit. It's a two-goal lead. We don't need to be doing that. Um, but it wasn't a bunch. I thought overall it was a good third period for us. Red Hawks are back in action at 4.07 p.m. tomorrow in Big Rapids. What are you hoping to see in the second game of the series out of your team? I'm hoping to see a better start. I mean, that's a, probably a pretty obvious statement. Um, get to the game that we got to in the second period. Uh, get to that game in the first period tomorrow. And we'll go to the video and we'll watch and we'll make the proper adjustments. But we know that's what the video is going to show. Our guys played hard. It wasn't about not playing hard enough. It was poor decisions and execution at times in the first period in particular. And then after that, it was pretty good. So I want them to rest. I want them to, to feel good about tonight, but realize we have to play this, the game a certain way for us to have a chance. Coach, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.